So this video is really a long time coming. It's putting in perspective TSMC and in many ways, therefore, AMD's lead over Intel and process technology. A few things make me have made me want to make this video for a while. I had that uh, Whispers of Golden Cove video come out, which so far all of my information provided has been proven correct. Like, for instance, the Ice Lake uh, 38 core server chips coming out next year. Um, people watched that video and they thought I was being too optimistic for Intel. <laughs> the funny thing is I didn't see that video as optimistic. I saw it as the bare minimum one should expect for Intel to not be completely hosed. You know, people saw Intel hitting 10 nanometer like late 2020 actually ramping up, hitting 7 nanometer maybe end of 2021, more likely 2022. You know, these new processes that will allow them to bring in architectures with, you know, 40% IPC increases. And they say, and again, this is such a constant thing I see, just this, what? 40% IPC increase? That's insane. Is it? It's the least you should expect. This is the least you should expect from Intel. And... I think all of this really comes down to people fundamentally not understanding the idea of a moving target. Where AMD, where TSMC will be in the same time period. They see me say, well, Zen 3 will come out late 2020. And then there's a chance that we might have some kind of 10 nanometer... Um, you know, Willow Cove or Golden Cove lineup in 2021, meaning it will compete with Zen 3. Yes, it will compete with Zen 3 possibly for a limited amount of time, but this really wasn't that optimistic. I mean, a good 10 nanometer node in 2020, I just mean as good as like Broadwell, good enough to use, plenty enough for laptop by the end of the year with a better Tiger Lake, you know, architecture compared to Ice Lake some server chips but again 38 cores is not as good as amd is 64 cores or who knows how many cores and threads with zen 3 and just because they can bring some 10 nanometer to desktop or port uh willow cove to desktop on 14 nanometer it's not gonna hold a candle to zen 3 and yes golden cove 2021 i know that blows people away because they hear oh this is coming out in 2021 Zen 3 comes out near the end of the year, so that must mean Intel's going to crush Zen 3. Well, well not really, though. It, it will compete with Zen 3 for a amount of time, you know, but AMD's Zen 3 will be in full production with good 7 nanometer EUV yields. And in fact, right now, already TSMC's 5 nanometer is already at 50% yields. Two years before they need it for Zen 4. They're delivering iPhones that use 5 nanometer. They're delivering them right now for testing. And they're going to get to 3 nanometer in 2022. Great. They're going to maybe Rocket Lake will use Willow Cove. But AMD's up to their own things as well. My overall point, the best example I can give to illustrate it is... The 9900K versus the 2700X. Think about it. 2700X comes out, it's great, it's cheaper than the, you know, uh, 1700X, 1800X was, it's better. Then the 9900K comes out and plenty of people say, well, this is the gaming chip, you know. Even though it's $500, it's 20% better than AMD's uh, $330 12 nanometer chip. Intel's still in the lead, 8 core to 8 core. Right now, the 9900K is going up against a 100, like 100 to 115 watt 3900X that has four more cores and is overall substantially better. AMD can't keep it in stock. This is the tunnel vision I think people see when they compare Willow Cove and Golden Cove against Zen 3. Technically, it'll compete against it for a whittle, for, for a whittle, for a little bit. But right now, the 9900K is predominantly, really, for the most of its life, against the 3900X. Whether Rocket Lake is a rebrand of Comet Lake, a Willow Cove port, or even a 10 nanometer 
Halo flagship. It's mostly against Zen 4, just like the 9900K is really mostly against Zen 2, not the 2700X, which you can now get up for $130, $160. And in 2022, AMD is expected to just punch again with Zen 5 on 3 nanometer, possibly with a 7 nanometer EUV or 5 nanometer EUV IO die. Who knows how many cores and IPC increases by then. This is the thing people don't get, the moving target that... Well, something can't compete against something right when it comes out, for most of its life, it's going to be competing with other things. Turing, for the most part, was not there to fight Polaris and Vega 14 nanometer. It's fighting Navi. And guess what? You'll have to fight big Navi, most likely before NVIDIA can respond. It's just, people got to put this stuff in perspective. And this brings me to a 7 nanometer EUV at Intel. Another thing I just don't know I agree with that I hear a lot of people saying. I hear so many people saying, forget Intel's 10 nanometer. They just need to focus on 7 nanometer EUV in 2022. No, that would be a disaster even if they got it in 2022. That's what I was just showing there. Number one, wouldn't it be weird if 10 nanometer never got even as good as what like Broadwell 14 nanometer was relatively for its node to this new node? Wouldn't it be weird if we just disregarded Intel's 10 nanometer for four years in a row and there wasn't one year where it was okay? I think that would be weird. I don't think 10 nanometers can be ever, uh, relatively speaking, anywhere near as good as their current 14 nanometer achieved. But they've got to get it somewhere. We should expect them to get it working. It has to. It has to get working. They need to be able to get some Halo products out. They need to be able to get some 10 nanometer server chips out eventually because they can't wait till 2022, guys. They can't wait that long. In 2022, AMD could be preparing 3 nanometer. And if Intel's still on 14, it will be an utter disaster. Intel needs to get 10 nanometer working to a reasonable degree for some of their products. Hopefully to a degree where it can... And I'm not, again, not saying this will happen. Hopefully, though, they can get it to a degree where they can tool up multiple nodes to 10 nanometers so they can at least have something decent against AMD 7 nanometer for a while before they get 7 nanometer EUV ready because we, God knows, they need something for 2021. Intel needs 10 nanometer to be a real node because 7 nanometer EUV will not be here soon enough. It just won't. And Intel better hope they have 40% or more IPC increases coming to architectures in a couple of years. Because AMD probably will themselves. Hopefully, this is all put in perspective now. There will be some closing thoughts. But quick, you're going to want to check out this. Are you overwhelmed constantly trying to recover files you clumsily deleted? Trying to make pasta and black and white at the same time? Well, stop. There has to be a better way. There is a better way, and it's called Recover It. Brought to you by the excellent Wondershare team, who I do recommend in general, Recover It allows you to scan and recover files you thought were deleted forever. It is trusted by 5 million plus data recovery users since 2003 and literally allows you to restore files on PC, Mac, from hard drives, USBs, SD cards, etc. Go to the link in the description below to support this sponsor. Well, I thought that ad was funny, didn't you? Anyways, the overall point, I know I was kind of all over the place bringing up a lot of these subjects here, but it really comes down to, I, I just think a lot of people forget that just because this one thing will compete against this other one thing when it first comes out, there will be a successor to its competition. And that's probably what it's actually going to compete with for most of its life. Turing's main competition was not whatever AMD had at the end of 2018. It's Navi, and it may even be big Navi. And the 9900K didn't have to beat the 2700X. It had to worry about the 3950X, if we're being honest. And how's that going? Just keep all of that in mind. And please consider supporting me on Patreon. Listen to Broken Silicon. Listen to Flyover States. I've got a fun guest coming on Broken Silicon actually soon. And there will be guests coming to Flyover States. All right. Thank you.